Welcome back to Just Scribble. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I was in Las Vegas this past week. I was actually there for a work conference. And while I was there, I had wanted to go to a couple of shops, two stationary shops that had some scrapbooking stuff, and then a stamp shop. However, I only had time to go to one. And so I decided to go to the one that I wouldn't be able to get to locally so we have stationery shops and scrapbook shops and things like that but we do not have a stamp shop that is solely stamps and that is anything like viva las vegas stamps and i wanted to share with you guys the stamps that i got and do some stamp swatching so that you guys could see kind of what they look like this is the card or the little postcard from the shop and so you can see their web address and their retail store location on this cute little card and they gave me this funky little plastic flamingo with my purchase. And then this is the business card of the COO, the chief operating officer for the shop. So I am going to insert a little video in here so that you guys can see what the shop looked like. This video is just a quick video that I did on Instagram. You can see it in my highlights. It is about a third of the total stamps in the shop. I have never seen this many stamps in one place in my entire life. It had stamps for everything and it was crazy organized. It was very, very awesome. I spent about an hour or an hour and a half there and spent way too much money and bought quite a few stamps. I will say there are some stamps that I am not going to show you that I did purchase because they are gifts. And so I purchased stamps for two individuals as gifts. And so I will be showing those after they receive them or linking to their videos when they receive them, if they do a video when they open their Christmas present. But I wanted to show you the stamps that I bought for myself because I don't want them to see their Christmas presents and spoil their surprise. So these, oops, my little bee fell over. These are the stamps that I bought for myself. And so I guess there's probably about mm, eight or 10 that are missing from this that I bought because I bought them as gifts. These two stamps here came from this grab bag pile of stamps where they had been used once or twice and they were two bucks. And so I bought these two because they were the two that I liked from the grab bag that I could actually see in the pile. This pile was huge, as you can see in this picture, like gigantic. And I did not have the time nor the patience to dig through all of it, but I did find these two and I really, really liked them. And it worked out well because this is a Christmas one and so I can use it in my December planner. And this flower could be used for anything because depending on how you colored it, could be for different seasons. So I'm going to do a little swatch or practice stamp of each one using my VersaFine, just so you guys can see them in action. But I wanted to show them to you first. So it was very hard deciding on stamps to buy. I wanted lots more than this. They had, I mean, nun stamps and Pope stamps and every species or breed of dog, every animal. They had tons of word stamps with quotes and words on them. They had a huge selection of, they had flowers and trees and I mean, just everything. So this is my little balloon dog. I actually was looking for a beagle because I have beagles, three currently. And so I really wanted, um, a beagle stamp, but I couldn't find one that I liked. So I settled for this cute little dog that's just making a funny face and the balloon dog stamp because, I don't know, I always think balloon dogs are so cute. That is the balloon dog stamp. And this is the baby dog. And I just thought he was really, really cute. So I'm sampling this with my VersaFine ink because it is really good for fine details, stamps with fine details. And a couple of these have some really fine details in them. I do have other VersaFine stamp pads. I have some that are smaller that I've gotten with my stationary selection box in different colors, but I thought black would be easiest to show you guys and to show up. I really liked these light bulbs 
for some reason. I just thought they were super cute and that they could be used in a planner and make a nice little addition. And so after you stamp them with stays on or Versafine, then you can go back over them and color them with your Tombow brush pens or mild liners or watercolors or what have you. I bought these little candies because I thought they'd be cute for the holidays, but I also thought they could be cute any time of year. So if it's someone's birthday or my birthday, I could color them and decorate them. This ornament reminded me of the Grinch. And so I had to buy the Grinch ornament. That is really the sole reason that I bought this ornament as opposed to other ornaments that they had because it looks very Grinch-esque. And that is my favorite all time Christmas movie. Actually, any of the Grinch movies. I love all the versions of the Grinch, but I think the old school cartoon and the most recent version are my favorite. So this is the little berry holly one. And so it's not the most perfect stamp, but I think it's really good for what I would use it for, which would be just adding to my December planner and journal pages. There's the flower. So I have no idea what kind of flower this is supposed to be, if it is a hibiscus or if it's something else. So this one is a little mouse and I actually bought this one because it reminds me of House Mouse and House Mouse is my favorite stamp creature and I recently acquired a bunch of House Mouse stamps and I'm gonna do a separate video on that because otherwise this video would get really long and it would be mixing up two different shops or vendors but I thought he was super cute and I liked the little mushroom. So these teeny stamps I bought just because they work good in your planner. Even if I was using the Hobonichi Weeks, they would fit in lots of different places. I have a thing for bumblebees. I love bumblebees. And so this is actually, I think probably a fly. However, it looks like a bumblebee to me if I color it properly. So I decided I would buy him. I didn't like any of the other ones. So this is a light bulb, which you could draw your string and then you could add your little lights. And I got it in two different sizes so that that way I could use it in my planner in different ways, depending on how big the space was. Christmas lights are my favorite thing about Christmas. They are so magical. This is actually a gumdrop, so it will look really cute if I use colored ink for it. And I have a lot of dewdrop colored inks. I bought the telephone to add to my planner when there's an important call I need to make. I thought I could put it next to my notation for the call. And then I bought the little thumbtack so that I could use it to make little notes sections in my planner. So those are the stamps that I bought for myself at Viva Las Vegas Stamps. You can shop online in their store as well. So this is their website, vlvstamps.com. I kid you not guys, these this store was awesome. I've never seen so many stamps. They were all on wooden blocks. They weren't cling stamps, but they did have some stamps where the rubber part was like in a bin and you could dig through it and it wasn't attached to a wooden block and it was super, super cheap. I did not have time to do that. But when I go back to Vegas the next time, I will definitely be going again and getting more stamps because they are super nice and it was so fun to have so many unique choices and such great quality. They make really, really nice stamps. So that is my quick little video showing you guys my stamps that I acquired at Viva Las Vegas. Like I said, after Christmas or after the recipients of the ones that I am gifting open them, I will either do a separate video on their stamps or share their video if they do one themselves, but I don't want to spoil the surprise right now. So you're only seeing mine, you're missing about 10 of them. But that is my stamps that I bought. I'm super happy with my purchases. You will see some of these in my December plan with me video. I hope you enjoy this video. If you have any questions about the stamps that I used or anything else about Viva Las Vegas stamps, please don't hesitate to comment below. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss future videos and don't forget to just scribble.